Bob Newhart, Bob, it's uh, uh, been a lot of years, and I've always been a fan. Your original concept of using the telephone, uh, how did that get uh, born as a germ in your mind? Well, I, I'd like to take credit for it, but a lot of people did it before oh. me. You know, um, I heard that one of the first uh, records at that time ever made was uh, a thing called Cohen on the Telephone. And then, of course, George Jessel used to, when he did his radio show, he would say at the end, he'd always end with a phone call, and it was, um, you know, uh, this is Georgie from the money, you know, and then Shelley Berman and Mike and Elaine. So it's, people identify with me, but it's been around for a long time, and it, it just lends itself to certain routines that, uh, that where you don't hear the other side of the conversation like Abe Lincoln. Not as many opportunities for the younger uh, no, people. Not for no, not um, Looking back in, in in those days, I saw some of the film you use in your act uh, with Ed Sullivan. Why wouldn't he let go of your hand? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ed was, you know, they make fun of Ed, and, and Ed did a lot of funny things. But he had he had that showmanship that he knew what would work for his audience, and and he, he when the Beatles, he grabbed them right away, and he knew they were right, and Elvis, and he he just knew what his audience wanted to see. Did you know that you hold a record also with Billboard magazine? There's only two artists in history that ever had a number one or two song on the Billboard charts at the same time. Hit, you know, number one seller, number two seller, and that was yours. And the other, maybe you don't want to be in this company, but it was I, Guns N' Roses. I heard, I heard, and I always say, well, you know, uh, you hate to lose a record, but at least it went to a friend, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great classic moments, and you showed it here again tonight, was that closing of the uh, of the series there with Emily uh, turning up in bed there. Uh, unbelievable. They're they're even they're talking about it now in terms because they wonder what the Sopranos is going to do for yes. their final episode, and they keep bringing up the final episode of Newhart, and they said, well, okay, you got to top that, so you you got your hands. Did you have input, or was that the writers that did that? That was my wife's idea. Oh, you're kidding? No, she she just said, you know, if you, I, I was going to quit the show in six years. And, but I, when I told her I was going to leave, she said, oh, you ought to do a dream sequence. And you wake up in bed with Susie and explain this weird dream you had. Because there were so many. The maid yeah. was the maid's an, heir, an heiress. And then you got Larry, Daryl, and Daryl, who are, who are right out of deliverance. You know, the, <laughs> what, what are they doing in Vermont? <laughs> so, and she was right. She told me, and I said, oh, what a great idea. What a great idea. It was idea. phenomenal.